piano time. Okay. Today we're going to the famous Robin Island where Nelson Mandela spent some time. One of the biggest struggles that we have here is staying in formation in our convoy because we have two vehicles and one of those vehicles has the directions to where we need to go and then the other vehicle is just following without a phone. So if we lose them, we lose them. Yep, so we lost Papa on the highway. Should I go and back that way, Em? Go back onto the highway. And we turned off the highway, so he's not gonna find us. What do we do? Go back onto the highway. All we need to do is get to Waterfront in Cape Town. It's not like we're like lost forever, like we have no I idea have where no, we're going. I have no map. He has, he has I have no, no idea how to get home. I know how to get to Cape Town. But what, how do we get to Cape Town? Do you have Cape Town right here, so follow that sign, I guess. Okay, we're back on track. But where's Daddy? Vancouver. Here at Robin Island, the bus has just stopped, and 
they let us off at a souvenir shop for a 15 minute break. So people will spend their money. Everyone who's here right now visiting Robin Island is thinking about Nelson Mandela and political prisoners and racism. The thing that I think is most interesting is that there still seems to be a divide between white people and black slash colored people here in South Africa. Like a lot of the people that are working the lower end jobs on this island are black. And like, for example, the person driving our, the boat to get here, everyone was white. But all the people that were managing the ropes and giving the instructions on how to put on a life preserver at the beginning there, like these people were black. And that you see that everywhere too. So it's not like going for a drive down the road, the people who are like pushing carts full of cardboard and cans trying to make money and scraping by like in the ghettos too they're all full of black people and the people that you see driving around in fancy cars and eating in open air restaurants are white people obviously there's some some crossover like you, you're not gonna see I've, I've seen a few poor looking white people and I've seen a, like a, several uh, wealthy looking black people but there's all these these pictures and plaques put up uh, talking about how amazing it is that we're no longer living in an age where black people are being, you know, and white people too, anyone that was working against the government that was enforcing racism. Um, we're not living in a time when those people are sent to jails on prisons or <laughs> prisons on islands anymore. But at the same time, there's a lot of, there's a massive divide even here on the island. Dramatization. So we just got back from the prison island and uh, it's pretty cool. Nifty! <laughs> Hippie! Hippie! Hippie!